We've talked about it for months and we had reason. Banjo and Kazooie Nuts and Bolts is something special. And don't assume this is a game for 12 and under players because it has all it needs to win over gamers of all ages. For those not in the know, here's a little history lesson. In 1998, Banjo and Kazooie on the Nintendo 64 platform was a game in which you saw over a couple of composed of a bear and a curious bird. For many players, up to the summit of video game history, far superior to a certain Mario 64 that at the time was massive. In 2001, Banjo and Tooie took over with Brio, and since then, nothing. Desperately, nothing. Fast forward to 2008, and honestly, even if we say it, you may find it hard to believe that this Banjo and Kazooie Nuts and Bolts is going to make car game history. So, here's how it works a central universe and a lot of smaller universes where you have to accomplish various challenges sent your way. Here's an example for you. You have to make the pieces of the central platform fall as fast as possible. You then choose your vehicle of choice and head off to work. But if you want to be more effective, there is a solution, and that is to build your own vehicle from scratch. Now, perhaps this is the main selling point of the 2008 version of Banjo, in which you're able to build thousands of vehicles to your own specific needs. And perhaps making each more outlandish than the last. Perhaps the only limitation is your imagination. For this challenge, you have to create a rather heavy structure to be able to move the big pieces posed on two large motors and two reservoirs. And even more so, you equip yourself with a train safety bumper and four wheels for stronger grip. Two seats to complete our weight distribution and you're ready to set off on the challenge. In some ways, it's like a giant game of Meccano, a real fantasy of a young boy adapted into a video game. Perhaps that's because in addition to the main principle of the game, you also have to collect pieces of a puzzle. The goal being to also get your hands on other cars that will let you find new pieces of that puzzle. In addition to that, you'll find street vendors on every street corner who will offer you plans for pre-built vehicles. So, hopefully after a few hours of playing time, you'll have built yourself a very complicated structure from hovercrafts, half helicopters, half lorries, nuclear-powered quads, perhaps even three-wheel tanks and much, much more. The only possible limitations are the needed pieces to push your imagination. The possibilities are endless, whether it's aerodynamics, weight distribution or road handling. These models can end up being quite realistic. All of this with your little friend Banjo, who has plenty of second degree humour. We do admit that you'll need to extract the inner child from yourself to enjoy this game to the max, but if you happen to be watching this, you, like us, are ready to have a go. Banjo is the cornerstone of the family of car construction games, a little bit like Trackmania, that is the reference when it comes to race circuit design. So, go out and buy it, or at least try it, and in a matter of minutes, you'll realise it's worth it.